Hi everybody, it is January 13, 2019. This video is about uh, aspartame, how dangerous it is. And I just recently learned that it is in far more products than I ever understood, but aspartame. I posted a video on Kafka Winston World going through the history of how aspartame got on the market. The FDA decades ago, uh, well, they banned aspartame because they realized how dangerous it is. So how did it get on the market? Donald Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld, our former Secretary of Defense. Interesting, isn't it? Because aspartame was originally discovered as a chemical weapon. And considering how toxic our environment has become, the air, water, uh, foods, everything, toxic, considering how many chemicals and, and additives and all the pesticides and herbicides, and wow, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really kind of very hard to understand how people can't see this as deliberate, and yes, there is a depopulation agenda, but Health activist says FDA agent admitted to promoting aspartame as a depopulation agent. Dr. Betty Martini, founder of Mission Possible World Health International, had um, created a citizen's petition calling on the FDA to ban aspartame from food, citing an imminent health hazard do you know how sick our population is today? It is phenomenally sick. We used to be a healthy people not too long ago. Now, well, remember baby boomers? Back in like the early 60s, people would whisper the word cancer. Cancer. Or call it the C word. Nobody wanted to talk about it. It was that rare and scary. Now, what is it, one and two? How did this happen so quickly? When you have radical changes in your society, in culture, uh, with health, whatever, radical changes, that means it's deliberately engineered. Okay, so... Uh, Betty Martini, that was back in 2000, and... Uh, she created this citizen's petition, and even though the law states that the FDA has to respond to these petitions within 180 days, she didn't hear back for nine years. She got a late night phone call from an FDA agent who, when they were talking about the aspartame, um, and she stating that people are sick and dying all over the world as a result of aspartame, she got a nonchalant response. So what? We need to depopulate. Now, you can believe that or not. But you cannot dismiss how dangerous aspartame is. Yeah, originally discovered as a chemical weapon. It's a deadly neurotoxin that damages cellular mitochondria. Dr. Russell Blaylock, a board-certified neurosurgeon and professor, warns that consumption of aspartame can cause a host of debilitating conditions, including but not limited to chronic headaches, fatigue, dizziness, nausea, numbness, memory loss, seizures, vision loss, and even sudden death, as well as MS, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, cancer. It is the most dangerous food additive ever approved for human consumption it is associated with more than 75% of all reported adverse reactions related to consumption of food additives. It affects the brain neurotransmitters. It's a carcinogen. Uh, Dr. Martini stated that there are more than 900 studies published in reputable journals showing that aspartame is dangerous and has no place in the human diet, but it still is in our foods, our drinks, our vitamins, our, well, I'm going to get into the list. Um, even the American Cancer Society admits on its website that aspartame intake is associated with higher rates of lymphoma, 
leukemia, um, also associ uh, associated with blood cancers, and what else? Death? Hey, <laughs> death. It's kind of like watching those commercials, or, you know, I pick up these magazines in doctor offices, and they're loaded with these advertisements for medications. You read the side effects, the adverse reactions from these uh, medications, death is very often included. So we have a, not only a physically sick society, we also have a mentally sick society. Because if they're actually in ads claiming that the, these medications may cause death, and then you have people, millions of people on the medication, okay, something's very wrong there. Uh, but it is made from the excretions of genetically modified E. coli bacteria. Wow. Hey. So the excretions of genetically modified E. coli bacteria. Let's put this in the food and the drinks and the vitamins and the supplements and a whole lot of products for Americans to consume. Headaches severe migraines, seizures, especially when aspartame is consumed on an empty stomach, linked to weight gain, chronic depression, compounds asthma. It's found in more than 5,000 products. It's uh, mostly consumed as a synthetic sweetener. It overstimulates human brain cells until they die, depletes serotonin, the natural hormone that regulates anxiety, also, you know, uh, well, I guess linked to depression. Dangerous combination of aspartame ingredients convert into formaldehyde. Uh, linked to prostate cancer, breast cancer, known to dramatically feed other cancers, worsens brain cancer, enlarges tumors. It can cause and exacerbate ir ir irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. Men who drink one diet soda a day are at a higher risk of developing blood cancers and leukemia risk is heightened for men and women who consume diet soda and it fuels metabolic syndrome. The products that aspartame is in all over the place. Oh also yeah that mysterious rise in diseases like fibromyalgia chronic fatigue. All right. When it comes to children, this is when I think it's really, really, really important. You know, adults, if we want to remain stupid and just purchase these products, we have that choice. But children don't have the choice. So parents, read the labels of children, vitamins, baby foods, yogurts, not saying it's in everyone, but it is in a lot of them. A lot of the common vitamins that parents give children. Um, and don't be fooled by the health food label, no high fructose corn syrup. Aspartame may be in there to sweeten whatever it is that they're selling. Children's Advil kids multivitamin vitamins and here's a complete list of children's multivitamins from smaller chain stores like Piggly Wiggly, Payless, uh, CVS, uh, Pay and Save, Peoples, I, I, Marsh, I guess these are supermarkets but here is the list which I will link to below um, children's Tylenol, the fruit flavored, grape flavored the cold multi uh, symptom chewables, Junior Strength, Pedicare, Tylenol, Alka Seltzer, Nighttime, Cold and Cough, Sinus Allergy, Bugs Bunny, Vitamin Products, Flintstones, Plus Calcium, Multivitamin. If you have a if you are someone with a child, please click on the link below because it would take me way too long to read all of this. 
but a lot of these products are right smack on our shelves. And I guarantee you that if you went into anybody's home in this country, you would find products in that home that contain aspartame, a chemical weapon. Um, and I guess there are uh, the generics of Tylenol, children's chewables, Zantac, Temper 3. I don't even know what these products are. Um, but here, children's Anison 3 chewables, uh, Naturalax, Lifeline. These are laxatives. Yeah, laxatives need to be sweet, right? Uh, sugar free. Metamucil. You know, all of these people are taking these products in the hopes that they feel better and they don't realize that they're consuming a chemical weapon that affects their brains. Uh, health Balance, Zoo Chews, Medigard, Equate, uh, Mayor's Circus Shapes, Animal Shapes, Chewable Vitamins. There's a long, long list. Um, but let's take a look at Children's Tylenol, Mylanta, Centrum, um, Health Balance. Here we go. Centrum. Centrum for Kids, Flintstones, Infant Pedialyte. I think I took this actually last year. Uh, I can't even remember for what. Uh, Replenish, Gerber's. The, the, this, is, this is for infants, for children. Many of Walmart brand Equate products contain aspartame. All diet sodas, uh, lesser known diet soda brands, sugar free lozenges, Ricola, all of these Splendos, Equal, NutraSweet, Schmuckers, Jellies, Delight, what is this? Coffee Creamer. Um, I guess it's International Delight Coffee Creamers, Kool-Aid products, uh, Crystal Light products, most gum, breath fresheners, mints contain aspartame, Royal Sugar-Free Gelatin, Great Value Gelatin, Jell-O, Jell-O Puddings, Jell-O Jell-O, um, Jello brand snack packs, Werther's, Jelly Bean, Jelly Beans, all of these Slim Fast Snack Wells, Hot Chocolate Mixes, Dannons, and Yo Play Your Yogurts. Unbelievable. Cereals Fiber One, Breakfast Essentials. Please stop consuming aspartame. Um, and instead of aspartame, try these products. Wholesome Organic Sucanet. I don't know. I don't know what these products are. It's uh, unrefined, <clears throat> excuse me, unrefined, unbleached whole cane sugar. And here's an aspartame detox and detoxification program, which I will link to below. So that's just one dangerous product on the market and has been for decades, even though the FDA knew that it was a neurotoxin and dangerous. But hey, Donald Rumsfeld made a fortune off of it getting it on the market, and it still is there today. 
think about all of the toxins that we are assaulted with every single day. How kids are actually able to survive survive this environment. Many don't, many don't. But how how could you possibly think that kids today could grow up to be healthy adults? It's virtually impossible unless their parents are well off and they have a water filter system going. Uh, they have their children in private schools that don't have Wi-Fi are feeding them organic, meaning real organic, which is very hard to come by these days. They have to have parents who are very responsible and love their children enough that they do a tremendous amount of research to find out how to protect their children from all of these assaults. I think a child that has parents like that is very, very fortunate and rare. I'll link below to everything. Ciao, guys.